thanks for tuning in to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be showing y'all how I'll color my chocolate. Um, I had a request for it, so here we go. So I use the Chef Master brand and it's just specially made for chocolate. So I've already melted my chocolate in 30 minutes. Um, you just melt it 30 minutes and then you take it out, melt it in 30 minutes till you get it to the consistency that you would like it. But I always add a little bit of um, vegetable oil, but I don't add, I use the vegetable oil that's um, like Crisco, but it's just the vegetable oil. I don't use the Crisco brand. So I either use the Walmart brand or the Full Line brand. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull some of the coloring in here and I'm just gonna mix it until I get it the color that I, I'm looking for. So it usually doesn't take a lot, but since I'm going from white, um, I want it kind of a dark blue because I'm doing a um, cowboy's theme. So I needed a darker blue. And there's other brands out there, but this is the first brand that I have tried. And it's really, it's kind of expensive. Um, Cause I, I think it came with, came with about eight, eight, nine colors. And I think it's like 30 something dollars. So, it is kind of expensive. All right, so I need a little bit darker than that. And it doesn't change the consistency of your chocolate. That's the good thing about it because you know if you use any kind of other food coloring, um, like a gel food coloring, it will change the consistency of your chocolate. And it seizes up. So the only way you can, but they have all color chocolate. So that's what I usually would do until I bought this coloring. I would just get the color of chocolate that I, you know, needed. But it's good to have this chocolate, this coloring, because, you know, you can always make it color darker. Or, you know, if you only have white, you can go ahead and color it. So I think this here is gonna be enough. Give it that dark blue that I'm looking for. And this is not um candy melts. This is the chocolate um the almond bar. This is what this is. So as you can see, it works good on almond bark too. So what I'm gonna do, it did make it a little thicker than what it was. Um, it works a little better with the candy melts. But I'm gonna add a little bit more vegetable oil in it to thin it out. And I'll be right back with you guys to show y'all the consistency of my chocolate. Hey you guys. So I've added some more shortening and as you can see it did thin it out some more so now that is the color I want so I'm gonna go ahead and start dipping my add a little bit more and I'm about out about time for me to order some more Go ahead and start dipping my apples. I mean, I said my apples, my strawberries. Get that mixed in real good. Okay. And that didn't, and that didn't make it too much darker, but. That's good enough. All right. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I usually use toothpicks, but I don't have any. So, my mother's on the way to get me some. Cover my whole strawberry. But it is going to be edible images on top of this, so you're not really going to see the whole strawberry. I hate using the leaves to coat them. I like using toothpicks, but I know we gotta do. Comes to me with the toothpicks, you can get you know coat it better. And when the chocolate starts to cool down and thicken up, you can always warm it up to get it back. And then, um, it's been at the 60C. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wash my hands and get this chocolate off of here and I will return with y'all guys to show y'all the end result of my strawberries. Right. If we hop in the beans, is that okay? Is it okay if I call you my product bait? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of bait. But let me tell you.